Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Velocity 2014 in Santa Clara. I'm here with Tal Broda. Tal, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. So you're the Senior VP of Engineering at SOSTA. Lately the CTO. Lately the CTO. Late. Yes. That's excellent. Well, congratulations. Thanks a lot. So can you tell me a little bit about what SOSTA does? Yes, so we do cloud and performance testing and also real user monitoring. And we do that over three different products, cloud test, touch test, and impulse. Cloud test is our product to do you know, performance and load testing from the cloud or behind the firewall. Touch test does functional test automation for mobile apps, so iOS and Android apps. And impulse does real user monitoring for web, and this year we are announcing mobile. So a little follow up on that. Uh, for mobile, and it was iOS and Android. That's are right. there any other mobile platforms that matter anymore? There are. I think you know a lot of our customers are talking to us about Windows, and uh, that okay. might be coming next year. It all depends on demand. Okay. So can you talk a little bit about Sosta and the customers and industries that you work with mostly right now? Yeah, absolutely. So Sosta was founded in 2006. We had the you know the the thesis, the belief that uh, the tools and methodologies that people were using to do load and performance testing and monitoring were outdated and really created the problem for engineering teams and operations team to move as fast as they needed for the web and for mobile. And so we decided to build a whole new set of products that would allow people to move at the speed that they needed to move. And the customers that we have right now come from many different verticals, but I think uh, mostly we have customers in e-retailers, financials, a lot of media companies, um, the Olympics you know, committee is a customer for the next 12 years, so many, many customers. So the usual suspects for this sort of thing. That's right, yeah. people that need to do large scale load testing and really have a lot of users on their you know, websites and mobile apps want to use Sosta to visualize that. So when you say use Sosta, you have a whole platform that That's you right. offer. That's right. And so let's, let's just take, a, let's say a large financial institution. Mm -hmm. What would they get with using a Sosta platform? And so what, what the platform is really you know, three different products that are built on three different key, key technologies. So the product, as I mentioned, is Cloud Test, Touch Test, and Impulse. And the key technologies that are behind them are cloud computing, mobile, and real-time analytics on big data. So what we developed is a set of core technologies and then built platforms on top of those. And so if you look at the Cloud Test platform, it utilizes cloud computing because it's a really classic case for cloud computing. You need to do load testing. You need to allocate a lot of servers really quickly, generate load from them, measure performance on insane amounts of data that we're generating when we're testing anywhere between 10,000 concurrent users to a million concurrent users in the cloud, and you know, visualize that in real time so you can find the bottleneck in performance, fix it, and move on to find the next bottleneck and fix that. So that's cloud test. Touch test using our mobile technology allows you to record test from the app as if you are manually testing it without writing a single line of code and then play that back as part of a continuous integration, maybe Jenkins or Bamboo or anything like that. And what we did with Impulse, which we launched here last year in Velocity, is we took the real-time big data analytic engine that we had for CloudTest that would allow us to generate massive load and process you know, real-time analytics at scale, and we repurposed that to be able to collect beacons from all of our customers' websites and mobile apps, analyze it in real-time, show real-time streaming dashboards, and then also deliver alerts in real time when there are problems. Okay, so of the three platforms, is there one that you see moving quicker or more adoption or more people wanting that sort of, uh, that piece of the three offerings? Yes, yeah, so it depends on the customer, right? We have customers that are actually using all of our three products and we have customers that are interested in one or the other. CloudTest is a product that we launched in 2008, so obviously it has more customers than okay. a product that we launched last year but I think the fastest moving product we have right now is Impulse. Okay, so Velocity is about web performance and operations and optimization. So what does Sosta do to help that happen other than the testing environment and that? So what is your play with the whole Velocity? Yeah, so I think we really help customers understand two things, right? So CloudTest helped them test for situations that maybe they don't have real users on, a part of the website that they haven't opened yet, a new product that they're about to launch. They want to make sure that the customers who are going to use that product, whether it's a mobile app or a website, are going to have a good user experience, both in terms of performance and in terms of the business. And then what we do with Impulse is after that product is in the market, you want to monitor your real users and make sure that they have the good experience continuously. And I think Impulse is unique in the sense that it doesn't just monitor and tell you performance for the sake of performance, but we always 
uh, advise our customers to send us you know, their business metrics into the platform so we can show them how performance is as it relates to business metrics. So they're not just optimizing for the sake of optimizing, they're optimizing to improve specific business you know, metric, whether it's you know, number of items in shopping cart, or whether it's you know, revenue per transaction and so on. Okay, so uh, summertime is here and rum is one of my favorite things in the summertime. <laughs> That's right, three well, laser morning. And last year, rum from Sosta was bo voted best uh, product. Yes. So what makes your rum different than the other rum? Yeah, so I think, you know, if you go to our booth, I think the first thing you'll notice is the really stunning visualizations we have. When we say real-time analytics, we really mean it. It's not just we'll show you the picture of what your analytics looks like when you open the dashboard, but as you keep our dashboards open, we continuously send delta changes to them across all of the different visualizations that you might have. And so you can really monitor and keep these updated in real-time. And that is for sites that, you know, deliver really small volume, like a million beacons per month, or sites that are really, really large, like one of our customers is Etsy, where we get over a billion beacons per month from them and still show all of this real-time analytics. So we collect 100% of the data. And like I said before, I think the most important and unique thing about Impulse is the fact that we don't just show you, you know, the uh, business you know, performance metrics, but always align it with your business metrics. So you can, in real time, understand how performance is affecting your business, set business goals, and improve performance according to those. So rum with a capital R. Exactly. Big capital R. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys are making some announcements here this week uh, around Impulse and other things. Can you talk a little bit about what's Sure, absolutely. So, so last year in, in Velocity, we launched Impulse for websites and web applications. And so we have a lot of customers that are e-retailers, but we also have SaaS companies that are using it to improve their products and make sure that their products are running with good performance. And this year what we're doing is we're doing essentially the same thing for native mobile apps. And so our customers on you know, the current product for websites and web applications, they can define these custom metrics and custom timers without making any change to the site. They can do it completely from the Impulse web-based UI. So you put the tag on the site, kind of like what you would do with an Omniture tag or Google Analytics, and from that point on, you never need to touch the site to define a metric or a timer, which is very good because you don't need to go through your entire IT you know, department and so on. And so that's what we did last year for you know, websites. And this year, we're very proud to announce that we were able to achieve the same thing for native mobile apps. And we believe that in native mobile apps, it's actually a bigger advantage. So all of the vendors out there that do any type of mobile analytics or mobile performance monitoring, if you wanted to add a custom metric or a custom timer to the app, what you need to do is you need to write code into the app, compile it, send it to the Apple App Store, wait for a few weeks until they approve it, and then wait for a few more weeks mm -hmm. until all of your users you know, download the new version yeah. of the app. And finally, after a few months, you start to see new metrics and new timers in the dashboard. What we were able to do is take a completely different approach. We took a couple of key technologies that we have for mobile functional test automation, and we allow you to define custom metrics and custom timers by simply touching them in the app. You touch to define, and then you send it to our server by virtue of touching it, the metric gets defined, and next time any of your users are using the app, those metrics are going to get sent to us. And so instead of waiting months, in five minutes, wow. you get the new metrics and the new timers that you want, which allows you not just to change your mind and add metrics, but also if you have any performance problem that you wanted to you know, measure from this point to this point, you can actually define it in real time, send the metric to us, the metric definition, and in five minutes, all of the users of the app are going to start sending you this version without compiling a new version, without writing code, without waiting months the app store for the app yeah. store approval process. So we yeah. believe this is a really big game changer for real user monitoring for native apps and for kind of analytics in general. Excellent, well Tal, we look forward to seeing uh, this develop more and also you guys uh, at New York and perhaps Barcelona as well. That sounds great. Thanks, Thank you very Tal. much for your time. Thanks.